I like being up before dawn and watching the sunrise. Um, it kind of, the water's flat, there's no traffic. You can see the Twin Cities come to life. And that's really cool. And then you're back in time for breakfast when everyone else is just getting up and you've already accomplished something for the day. Hi. My name is Jake Waxman. I'm a senior at McAllister. I am one of the captains of the crew team and I've been rowing for eight years now. I wasn't a particularly athletic kid in middle school. I was on the tennis team, but I wasn't very good. Didn't think much of exercise. I was kind of getting fat too. So my mom actually signed me up for the crew team. So I went to the first day and brought a bathing suit actually. That's how um, ignorant I was of the whole sport. And then from there on out, I loved it. Rowing is, well, it's not that different from other sports. It's different in like how you move the boat and how you're using your whole body. So it's really close to canoeing and kayaking. It's just more specialized and much more um, competitive. Rowing has such a deliberately dirty vocabulary. I'm going to say by swept jewel is probably my favorite word. When you're rowing sweep, um, you have an oar on either your right side or your left side. So that's either starboard if you're right, port if you're left. By swept jewel means you can do both. You can row on either the right or the left of the boat with minimal difficulty switching over. I'm biceptual and proud, I guess. I am from Weston, Massachusetts, though I usually say Boston, because that's the nearest major city. So I was on Wayland Weston, one of the top public high school teams in the state and in New England. So it was a very competitive program. I stuck with it. I admit I was not the greatest on the team, um, but I did row in nearly every race, and I did win a lot of medals. Um, I was able even, even able to row in the head of the Charles my senior year, which is the biggest regatta in the world, um, one of the biggest sporting events in any category. That high school program really got me started because it was very competitive. I learned a lot about rowing. I pushed myself very hard, and it was a big program, so I had a lot of very good friends from that. I got to say, I really enjoy going to regattas with the team because we're a big, uh, diverse group of people from uh, all over college. And um, I'll say we're not the most teamy team out there. This is a club program. We run ourselves. I can tell, say, it's not as competitive as it was for me in high school, where it was a varsity program. It's a fun program here. It's co-ed. But the equipment isn't as nice because there isn't as much money. And it's not as competitive, as I said before. I know uh, most cities on rivers have rowing programs to some degree. Um, and even, they're not as competitive, there are no real teams after college, um, but you can row on your own and you can find a club to just row with and occasionally compete, uh, so that's what I'm hoping to do. Also link to Skull because that is more of a individual or partner activity, and so that's a lot easier to do on your own. I'll say everybody hates crew who does it, you will never hear them say anything good about their time on the water. And when they're on the water, they regret everything that they've done in life that has brought them to that moment. But I mean, we still like it. It's really addictive. We like doing it. We like the feeling of elitism and pride that comes with doing a sport that's so rare and so difficult to master. But we still hate it amongst ourselves. And we always curse everything we do about it. And yet we keep doing it day after day. Yeah,